questions there? Are you guys waiting for me to say something? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. Dry dock. Sorry, I was switching between stream sound and... Uh, do you guys know, are we going to be playing all the maps in order? I think. I believe so. Um, apparently we're having like video lags again then. I don't know if oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me do my, my shtick on that. Um, so okay. if you are having issues with the stream, guys, be sure to F5. Uh, so reload the page. Uh, the way that streaming up through Twitch and, and uh, live stream and stuff works is that you connect to a node. So see if you can get on a better node that works better for you. And if that doesn't work, right-click on the stream, go to the third setting, or click settings to go to the third setting. And you can up uh, your buffer. You can up uh, how much Twitch will store locally on your computer uh, to over a megabyte, and that should help a bit too. Okay, uh, so we're playing 77 Bella Omega again. Uh, once again, it's 3D for Finland and 4, 4D for uh, grab attempt coming in from Stream from the back. Um, Stream going to make a clean grab through the Finnish defense, but he stops on the stand, unfortunately, for him. He's going to be taken out by the chain fire, petrified. Um, yeah, again, 4D for uh, working intended and 3 for Finland. Belfast coming in for a back grab at the same time. The working intended gens are down already, um, leaving their flags then very much more open. Um, interesting to note that the, the Finns had not decided to run a half here, although they were keen on using one at the end of dry dock. Beltos with the grab here. Yeah, Beltos making this clean grab through the back. There's a good chance this gets home, really, because Streams not in position. It's Taking sniped out by Arca, there's a way. Yeah, yeah, that's the risk of running a Pathfinder. Mm hmm. Just a lower health pool, really. Uh, it's going to be picked up by Epi, though. Flagstand's currently in MVC's possession. Um, uh, yeah, Petrified takes himself out trying to kill him. Um, MVC's going to make the E grab return by Richard. The flag comes up to the 1 yeah, one zero for Finland there. Uh, yeah, the e-grab thing actually managed to make it off the stand, and it was quickly returned. <coughs> Top secret here with the flag again. Don't think you'll make it that far. We've got Stream coming in from the back as well. Yeah, Stream running the route that we've seen him running in uh, a number of games now, actually. Clear away, though. Not even touched. And Top secret gets taken out at last by Mono. And uh, working, flag down to the generator room. working as intended play is going to be safer for a while now. Yep. Uh, also worth noting that the finished gens have been taken out at this point. So flag stand. Strain is taken out, in fact. There's a good chance... Oh no, Belfast misses the return. Uh, Johnny the Juicy with the flag is going to go for the Diamond Sword return, and it's going to be 1-1, one, one, I think. Yep. 1-1 one, one yep, to... One, one. No one, because it's a draw. 1-1. One, one. Um, again, I feel like 77 is, is not good on a map like this. Uh, I mean, the, the flag stands are quite close together, but it's all about the bases, and it just makes it like... Um <coughs> so many rolls to fill and so little people to do it with. Indeed. Stream with the front grab, I think he got blocked there again, he's taking a lot of damage, he's probably going to go down. Um, I think he's on one hit to die and Petrified chains him out. Um, feels like there's a real... Uh, it, it's just... If you stop one grab, it's, it's really incredibly strong at the moment here, I think. Uh, although they seem to be doing quite well to sort of neutralize the Finnish offense at the moment. Although, who's that coming in at the back? Belthor's again setting up for his route. So the Finns playing with three guys disrupting the stand. They seem to just be dueling them out there. And Samurai Reaver, Ante Master dropping very low. And at the same time, Belthor's is going to come in from the back. Comes in with a nice one. Sniped before though, so really low coming in there. Yeah, he's going to grab the flag though. Despite his low health. Um, Mono misses the thumper, but he's going to be in snipe range, I think, all the way home. Uh, snipe misses. Uh, good chance Top Secret's able to take the flag off him here, though. Um, Finn's going for that, that cover style of play to get the flag home. At the same time, Stream making his grab from the back again. Uh, untouched this time. Uh, Top Secret taking a lot of fire from Henson Master, and no one to cover him, really, so there's a good chance Stream is going to make this 2 1, I think. If the return comes in time. Okay. Mono returns. Oh. oh, Stream falls down. Yeah. Not enough energy to, energy to get out there. Still makes the cap though as Richard comes in for the e grab, which is possibly a second too late. Um, very unfortunate for him there. Drops the flag off outside. Trying to force a return, I think, but uh, the workers intended guys are just going to secure that up. The thing is here though, I mean, do you feel like maybe, maybe the Finns are playing this wrong? Do you think this map would suit 4D more, keeping their guns up? Yeah, I think so, because it's uh, honestly quite hard to stop the grabs. You, you can't see that much from inside that room. At the same time, Top Secret has got halfway with the uh, the working intended flag. Uh, the string comes string in again for that back grab. grab, once again untouched. Um, they've really not spotted him, have they? Yeah, he's Top just Secret getting away every time. To the left with Hentai Master. Hentai Master taken out by Top Secret. Top Secret again on very low health, though. Um, it's going to be standoff time, I think. Passes a flag off to 60. 
Uh, a lot of pressure coming in on the uh, on stream at the moment, though. We've got yeah, three, three with 50 health players. left. Getting chained down, goes through his, goes oh, through his nice V pad. Nice work. Uh, but I don't think there's anyone down there to help him, really. So, um, But uh, it favours himself to be inside, though. He's playing Scrambler. He's got the, the walls he can use to stick. There's stick Johnny coming on. in as well to help him out. We need some yeah. help now, though. He's, on, yeah. he's got, got plenty of support now, though. Yeah, that was a nice move. job. Yeah, that was a smart move, um, actually. Taking the flag in. Um, very close though, but unfortunate for Finns not to land that final chamber there. Uh, especially because of the Arch Buster, which is so powerful <coughs> inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, Beltos taking out Samurai River with, with a grenade. Uh, the flag is loose, but picked up again by Johnny. A lot of Finnish pressure coming in again now. This might uh, be returned, Johnny taken out by Belthos, flag is returned. I don't think we've got anyone on the Finnish stand at the moment to stop this being a cap, so it's going to be 2-2. Two 2-2, -two. Two -two. equalizer. Once again, I mean, working intended seem to really fall back on themselves when there's uh, a stalemate. Uh, I don't know if it's panic or what, but they, they tend to defend their carrier a lot more than they perhaps need to. Um, and then they end up with no pressure at all. Uh, we saw this against IDK, but it works very well for them on Catabatic there. Hentai Master is in his strike again. <coughs> Favourite position. At the same time, Street is setting up for that back grab. Uh, yep, coming in now. Swoops in. I don't think any of the Finnish D have seen him. Um, in fact, they're being disrupted quite a lot by. Let me see. Oh, blocked by Fiodic on the stand. Takes and a lot a of shots there. Yeah, it was a vast improvement there for the Finns, actually. I think it's the first time they managed to hit him on that back route. Um, Hente Master looks like he might go for the pick up, but no, decides against it. Keeps his strike in the air. Um, and Belfast is getting halfway home. Sniped out by Arkadizel. Sniped out, yeah. Still playing Pathfinder, however. It's an interesting choice, really, because I've seen some really good ranger routes on this map. Top secret with the instant regram. Going to go through the middle of the map again. That seems to be working quite well because it reduces Arca's angle quite a lot, um, given the the power that snipers had. Really, it's uh, it's a good choice, I think. Richard going for the pickup in the field. Uh, we should be expecting stream sometime soon, I think. Taken out by Hento Master on the stand, but Six is going to pick this up, or not? Flag is still going to be loose there. Hente Master going for the return. Uh, no, it doesn't quite make it. Gets taken out. With the same time, I think Strine is coming in from the back. No, nope. he's some way out still. Yes, Heck, Six with the flag now. Mono with the grab, so. Mono with the e grab, but I mean, possibly a bit premature when they've got the cap coming from the back. I mean, the, the flag is not going to be on the stand when Strine comes past. Um, and the thing right. is, if Mono doesn't get anywhere, uh, the flag tried to do a pass there. for a long period of time. Yeah. It would have been awesome if it worked, but a uh, risky move, I think. Because they had time, I think. And top secret is uh, Both teams, actually, you know, uh, just the Blood Eagle generators up at the moment. Uh, the Diamond Sword Gens are still down. Uh, they might not be bothered, though, if that strike was the strike was taken out there, wasn't it, actually? Yeah, so they want to be getting their Gens back up. And uh, I think top secret's getting his strike up now as well. Don't know whether these teams are are operating the one strike rule, but I don't think they were in the previous map, so... Uh, Petrified, uh, still move available. towards Doombringer again, with the force fields. Yep, this might be a very good counter against Strine, actually, because he's running that back route still. Uh, with the gens are up, he's not going to be able to get he's very far now. Comes in, and the force field does an awful lot of damage to him. Makes it uh, a lot easier to chase. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> might be hard to, to sort out the generator with uh, only 7 versus 7 here as well. Uh, like I said earlier, so many roles to fill up, not that many people. So we'll see. Uh, I agree. Um, although the Finns are, are effectively sacrificing the sniper role, I think. Um, and not particularly suffering for it, I think, uh, really. Seems to be working out for them so far. Uh, yeah. Streamed incoming again. Same route. Now, did he get blocked off time? Uh, no, the flag was on the stand. So. Okay, the gens are going down now, which really hurts that Doombringer. Um, I wonder if the Finns will be wanting to get those gens up as soon as possible. Or if they'll just leave them down and like go back to their, their three rangers on the flag. I'm interested as well by Epi's choice Belfast of tech. with the grab. Yep, Belfast grabbed through, but he's in snipe range, but uh, I think the snipe... If he keeps it lower, it could be, could be home. Yeah, all on the snipes. There three snipes in a row missed there. Um, unfortunate for Arkansas, well, really. This will definitely be hurting his rating. Um, Belthos makes <laughs> it 4 2. NBC with an E grab. Um, the problem with these E grabs that come in slightly too late is they really do hurt the, the way offense. I mean, when, especially when it's it's only really been Streen's grabs in the back that have threatened to get home. Um, I mean, the flag in the field is not something he can root to. Uh, he's going to go for a pickup, though, and it's, it's going to be moved around by 60. 
Uh, it's going to take a lot of damage in trying to pick this up. Whites himself out there, and Get the yeah, I think he's going to die. Yeah, it picks up the flag and resets the time on the field. Actually, top secret manages to punt the flag all the way home. That's um, that was a long throw there. Actually, uh, Tixie's going to pick this up. I think no, bounces everyone's oh. head. This flag once again having such natural oh, physics. So uh, close, <laughs> so close. Uh, yeah, great thumper there in the last second actually prevents every from returning. He had to go over the strike grab. Uh, did he stop on the wall there or? Oh, Crest too late. Into the Definitely. building. Yeah. So five two again for the Finns. Uh, seemed like they were vulnerable to stream at the beginning, uh, but when they took action to counter that one route, uh, really seemed to shut them down. Uh, again, how do we feel this map did in seventy seven? I felt a bit slower from what I'm used to playing, at least. Mm -hmm. Pella is quite a big map already as it is, and uh, especially with uh, generators as uh, uh, quite a primary objective. It's like Sir uh, said earlier, it's just too much for too little people. Mm -hmm. I think, I think well, it's kind of like the height of the bases, although they're, they're quite close together, uh, the sort of additional levels add so much more sort of area for the map to take place in. And um, yeah, it's just too much stuff. Crossfire, however, might be interesting with 7v7. Possibly reduces the clusteriness of it. Yeah, we might see a lot 